Smith as the North Stars lived until Thursday. The series MVP went to work, Butch scoring once, then from Clark Gillies one more time. For the second year in a row, the Islanders were champions of the world. Well, so pleasure on this first anniversary of the first Stanley Cup to welcome two of the guys who made both Stanley Cups possible. Guys by the name of Clark Gillies and Bob Bourne. You've heard it said before, if they played on any other team, they could be veritable superstars in the National Hockey League. But when you play with guys like, uh, what are those guys' names? Uh, Bossy, Trottier, Gore, oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who the needs little guys, whoever they are. The little guys are running around and score. Yeah, well, you know, it's nice, nice to think about it, but uh, I think we have to win four or five more to, you know, to really <laughs> say a dynasty. I don't see how people are saying that right now. Four or five more. Let's yeah. take a look at the final moment, parading the cup. Every hockey player's dream come true when the cup gets paraded around center ice. There's Pot fan. What, where were you standing? What were your thoughts while this was happening? I was just following this year. Last year, I guess I... Somebody said I hand it up a little bit. I grabbed it and started running around the rink with it. So I, I, just, I was just falling around this time, just watching. It, just as far as I was concerned, it. last year I, I didn't get my hands in the cup and I was going to make darn sure I got in there pretty close <laughs> and uh, made sure I touched it finally. And you guys get to take it home, don't you, to individual houses during the summer? Or is, are we not supposed to mention we that? We did last year for a while. Was, well, the night we won it was over at Clark's house and uh, his dog was eating out of it. But anyway. <laughs> So many of the guys had great series, you know, uh, Mike Bossy, I mean, uh, quite 33 or something like that, some 33, 34 points, tremendous playoff, you know, broke Brian Trotche's record, and without him, you know, uh, uh, certainly would have been tough, and I mean, when Brian Trotche set a record, 22 games or something like that, and, you know, where would we have been without him, and of course, Dennis Potvin broke Bobby Orr's record, and you know, where would we be without him, and uh, his tremendous play in, in his own defensive end, so, uh, you know, there's so many guys, and, uh, you know, uh, you, know you're, you probably, you know, you've heard it a hundred times when we went to Conn Smythe, but, you know, really, this is, really is a team effort, and, Forget the little guy. Who really deserved to win that thing? Well, like I told you before, I should have won it, but if I would have won it, there'd been a big investigation on why, so uh, <laughs> I really can't do anything about it now. He really did, he did deserve it. Come on, yeah. don't say that. Uh, well, I, I played golf with him today, and I won money <laughs> off him, so I got to see. <laughs> what well, was your thought of I don't know. I think, you know, there could have been 10 guys that won it. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you look at a guy like Brian Tracho, he played, he played the last five periods with a separated shoulder, and... Uh, it's really hard to say this year. 